All right, uh, starting this episode of Project Zomboid. I don't know. It, more zombie shit. However, this zombie shit actually is pretty cool. I played a little bit of it. And for those that don't know, this game came out like seven years ago in various forms of early access. It's still in early access, apparently. But it just got multiplayer. And so right now the numbers on Steam are ballooning. And I said to myself, you know, I've known about this game for a while. Let me check it out. So uh, Jeff set up a server and we have a couple people with us and we're going to play some Project Zomboid. So at the moment, um, Dave Cap, Johnny Full Sauce, The Monotonist, and Vigibum, a.k.a. Jeff, we're, uh, we're all in the call. Say hi, guys. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hola. I was hoping you would all say hi, guys, at the same time. Hello. Hi, guys. Such hi, guys. A, God damn it. We gotta <laughs> start over and... Ah, don't worry about it. Anyway, yep, we're gonna play some Project Zomboid multiplayer, and there will be lots of death, there will be lots of zombies, and it's actually kind of a cool game. I think you'll see that. If you've never seen it before, give it a couple... Give it a couple minutes. Give it 20 minutes. See if you like it. But I, I so far, I think it's pretty cool. So, uh, gonna pause for a sec, and then be back in multiplayer. Alright. Here we go. So, we're gonna start at this place called Muldra. And, um... I'm gonna explain it a little bit. But not too much. Essentially, you can create your character, however you want. It's pretty intense. Like, I could be a park ranger. And, uh, but th you have to add negative traits, too, to balance it out. So, if you're a chef, you have to then, like, give yourself a thing like claustrophobic. Gets panicked when indoors, which sounds awful for a game like this. Um, but you can get some really nice stats. The thing is, though, I don't know this game well enough. So I'm just going to pick Unemployed, and I'm going to uh, choose Lucky, and I'm going to choose Runner, and that's it. So I have some very basic stats. Now I'm going to make a character called Cleet Cobain. So I made this character last time, and he became a shirtless zombie in no time. Alright, so jeans, and we're gonna do a long sleeve green t-shirt. There he is, Cleet Cobain. Beautiful. So, for the multiplayer, one of the things we have to do... We gotta find each other. I mean, we don't have to. But it would be extremely helpful... If we all spawned into this world and then found each other. So we're gonna try to do that. This game is difficult. You die a lot. And there's a lot of mechanics. Something I learned, too, is that you can shift-click items when there's a lot of them in an inventory, and you can transfer all of them at the same time by doing that. Uh. You don't have to just drag like crazy. Okay, that's good. Alright, so you'll notice here, I, Cleet Cobain, have spawned in this house. One of the tricks that we learned was when you keep your inventory open, and you can, you can see up, up here, um, let me turn my mouse on so you guys can see what I'm clicking. You can see up there what's near you, so you can just drag the items over. It's very helpful. So if I wanted this candle, I'm gonna grab that. Um, there's books that can help you get experience, however they take fucking forever to read. So, um... Then you want food, because there's a food meter. So I'm going to bring some food, including pickles, which is Kermit's favorite food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can drink from the toilet if you want, though I wouldn't recommend it. Ooh, found a bra. I'm going to wear that in a minute. Yeah, 
That support. Exactly. I'm the support class. Okay, so with pants, I'm gonna rip the pants so that I now have some, like, potential bandages if I need them. And now I'm going to leave this house because because it is a house of, of nightmares. Yeah, honestly, trying to find a weapon at the very beginning seems like the most like the hardest part. Yeah, and and it's hard to you might get a if you're lucky you'll find like a knife, and then they don't even last that long. So you you kind of have to really you have to get lucky. Apparently, you can unarmed kill a zombie if you push them over first, and then you can stomp on their head. Ah. It's I think it's dangerous, but it's better than nothing. Um, Dave, have you watched the new John Wilson episode? No, I have yet to watch any of the new season. It's the new one is how to remember your dreams. Ooh. And it's one of my favorite ones yet. Just throwing that out there. You'll, you'll enjoy the new season. Yeah, I've only heard good things so far. Okay, so right now I'm walking around aimless. Um... I don't even know how to describe where I am because there's nothing remarkable about where I am, but if you guys... If we... Well, I'm sure we can meet up soon. Oh, the zombie has a knife in its back. I think in general if we head, uh, like, for the direction be, I guess, like, northwest... It was a butter knife. There's, like, a really big main road that's on that side of the map, and you can just kind of follow that road and meet, maybe meet up that way. Okay. So I'm just um, kind of up and left. Okay. So I have a giant horde following me. In this game? I know. Came as a total shock. I have a rolling pin as a fucking weapon right now. A rolling thunder. Rolling thunder. I spawned into a trailer that had a burglar alarm going off. So it was already being surrounded by zombies. And so I just had to run. Yeah, it's a good diversion. You can like set an alarm off and then go the opposite way. Mm -hmm. Purple. Burglar. Alarm. My character so is out of breath and also in extreme panic and was hot and I had to take off my shirt. So that's fun. Yes, Mono? Oh, sorry, I was just say I think it's weird that like Limmy is associated with the purple burglar alarm thing, because when he when people told him to say it, he says it fine and doesn't like have any trouble with it. Yeah, people he had are, a little like, trouble. It was it a little bit. It wasn't just, too much. It was crazy, yeah. And that was also purple burglar alarm is a thing I've heard even before Limmy. Like that's a pretty old gaff in regard in regards to Scottish uh, folk because apparently they do have some problems. But Limmy uh, <laughs> problems saying it that is Scottish people that are watching this right now. You're all wonderful. Um, I butcher your accent horribly. But uh, the thing about it is, if you're from Edinburgh. If you're from Edinburgh or Glasgow, then you hate the other one. So, um, yes. Sorry, what should I choose as the spawn location? Murta, like oh, Moldra. Yeah, the Moldra, first one. Okay. I thought it was the dude from Lethal Weapon. Just joining. Just got done with the tutorial. And I think the easiest way to walk around is if you hold down right click and then use WASD. It's a lot more control, I think. And you sneak that way, too. You can also just hit C to sneak. Oh, yeah. So I just found a fork sticking out of a zombie's head. And that's my weapon now. I've reached the highway. I'm almost there. I'm bleeding. Uh, what classes are you guys playing? I just make a basic one. Unemployed with like two decent stats. 
That is Burglar again. <laughs> that has a uh, good sneaking ability. Found a house okay. that's one broken into. I assume you guys are around here. Um, honestly, there are some houses that have already been broken into. Hmm. I've seen a couple that look kind of scummy. I'll play uh, the doctor then. If anyone finds a can opener, be sure to take that. It's a really valuable Oh, right. The, the faction. Definitely got to join the faction. Somehow my groin is bleeding. Did you pick a female character? No, I was kidding. Oh. The game is too. Real. Too real, bro. I'm in. I'm in a house right now. Uh, let me. This is a bad house. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is terrible. Oh god. My character's thirsty. Oh Jesus. Oh god. They're all in. Oh god. God! Oh, I just locked myself out. All right. First character has been pulped. Uh, so, yeah, I entered a house that um, just had a lot of zombies in it. So, there's a, a thing called Long Blunt. When you become a baseball player, it gives you plus one Long Blunt. Yes. I didn't know Snoop Dogg played baseball. Oh my god. Oh my god. The jokes tonight are already Dude. so good. Dude, see reference to Snoop Dogg smoking weed. How did you know that if you smoke Snoke, Snoop Snoop? Oh, hi, Dave. Bye, Dave. Bye. Okay, I have, I have a new character. We watched the, uh, for anyone out there, we watched Muppet Christmas Carol. It was my first time. And uh, Jeff and I watched it. And it was fantastic. And I'm upset that I hadn't seen that movie previously, because that is a great movie. Hey, I can't believe you never saw it. Yeah, as a Muppet fan, it's just a weird. I don't. I guess Christmassy stuff is the real problem, because <laughs> I'm not usually a Christmas kind of guy. But uh, I think yeah, yeah. it should have. I should have watched it when I was younger, because I would have loved it. But um, for those out there who haven't seen it, it's so good. It's the best Scrooge, <laughs> easily. And the Muppets are great. Um, there's so many good, funny Rizzo moments. Rizzo, like, kind of steals the show. And then there's, like, creepy Muppets, like this one. Very creepy. Which one? The Christmas little girl past. one? Yeah. <laughs> if so, you look at, like, the Dark Crystal in the 90s, they all kind of, like, look like that. Like, the Muppets all kind of, like, look like... I don't know. The people ones look weird. Yeah, they look like the Gelflings. That one looks like a Gelfling. But, yeah, they, they have um, uncanny... You get used to it, but it's it's weird when they do a human Muppet. Animal Muppets, no problem. Human-faced Muppet? Uh, I don't know about that. Um, for those who are um, watching that know this game incredibly well, keep in mind this is like my second time playing it. I played it for about an hour. Some of us here have not played this game until just now. AKA Johnny. Hi. 
It's been out for a long time. Like, I played it years ago, so I pretty much am new to it now, too. Yeah, it used to be entirely sprite art, and then they started to realize that it was becoming too, like, intensive, trying to animate every angle for new characters, every item and all that, so they switched to, like, hybrid 2D, 3D. I kind of like, like the, the Sims now. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that w I was about to mention that it really looks like the Sims. It does. RuneScape meets The Sims. I kind of like that. That's one of the things I like about the game. Is Yeah, I'm always a fan of low polygon, simple design. There's like a whole generation of games when they when texture resolution started getting uh, high and normal mapping and all that started showing them where there's just an intense amount of ornate detail on everything. And I think like Oblivion was kind of around that time. It's just like too much detail and stuff that just gets muddy looking, in my opinion. Yeah, you need a little restraint when you like Breath of the Wild is a nice. I mean, it's also hardware limitations, but for me as an open world game, I don't often like Breath of the Wild. Everything to me just seems clear. There's like a nice balance of detail and like wide open space and that was the big fear with that game before it came out it was like was this is this game gonna just be empty and while it is there's also a number of like pretty clearly communicated things that you can see and go to and explore and interact with but yeah i agree um some games can tend to look a little overly overly poopish that's why i like risk of rain too so much that game can get really intense because, you know, that's the nature of it. It's like you're fighting hordes of monsters, but the visual style is really crisp and clean and nice. And you kind of, even though you're fighting a million things, you understand what you're looking at. That's why I really liked when Team Fortress 2 came out and they put like such attention to making uh, everything as clear and readable as possible with like the silhouettes and the teams and all of that, and then all these other team shooters are coming out, like Overwatch and stuff, and I feel like it's just a visual assault on my eyes. There's just so much, so busy, so much, so many particle effects and movement. It's just, uh, I don't know, I like what TF2 did better. We, we call that visual diarrhea. Yeah, that's a good term. I also, I think um, because of the nature of like the hardware, there's just going to be developers that go to the hilt with as much stuff as they can put in because detail equals good graphics. But at the same time, yeah, too much can be a problem. I think Halo Infinite is a nice balance. It's detailed as fuck, but again, I don't have any problems parsing what's happening, both in the multiplayer and the campaign. It's got a nice clean look to it. So I ended up in a forest because I thought I was somewhere else on the map and I started heading deeper into the forest. And boy, do I regret this decision. <laughs> well, I managed to lose the huge horde that was after me by going into the forest because they really get stuck on there. But yeah, you got to make sure you try to find a way out so you don't run back into them. Man. If you, sprint, a walk too. if you sprint while you're in the forest you trip a lot. Huh. I've had nightmares like that where I'm just in a pitch black wooded area and I'm in a panic running, but I can't see anything and I keep falling. And I don't know why I'm running, where I'm running. And that's like the whole thing. Oh, I'm Johnny. Here's Johnny. I thought I saw someone in this house, like not moving. I was like, what the fuck? Someone trying to come in here now, though. Oh, I'm thirsty, so I'm going to uh, eat half a quarter oh. of an orange. No, another uh, really important item is any sort of water container, whatever it is, mm -hmm. is really good to have. And, um, and any sort of container, like a plastic bag. And then you have to equip the bag to use it. it you can't just put it in your inventory. Yeah, I found a car that works. 
I dug a furrow and now I'm bleeding. It's interesting. Donnie, if you come outside, I'll give you a ride. If you click on the skills tab, you can see there's like 30 different things that you can work on, different skills. I just like crash through this fence. With a uh, tab, what did you say? How did you do that? Uh, there's a little, like where your health meter is, there's a tab that says skills next to health. Oh god, I'm in here with zombies. It's, if it's closed, you can click the heart in the top left to open it again. Yeah, now is probably not the best time. Uh, fuck, okay. There's a bird feeder. Okay, I was gonna oh, try to drink from sorry. it. Sorry, uh, where'd you go, Jeff? Right over here. I'm trying to make my way over to you. Oh, Dave. Hey, who's that? Oh, hey, Vin. Look, I made a uh, Gordon Freeman. Oh, shit. Nice. I don't know if you find a crowbar. So it's almost 7 p.m. in game, so it's gonna be nighttime very soon. Where'd you oh, go, I Johnny? I need a piece of cloth. Because I'm. Oh, there's an eggplant here. Nice. Sick. If you hop up. Yeah, just hit E on the door. I think you just jump in. Nice. I mean. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, this is Let's sick. Go. I found Johnny. We got a car. Uh, we're going to want to leave. Yep. Time to leave. find these guys now. I'm just looking at the map. Um, If you. Oh, there's a map. How do you look at the map? Hold M. Oh, you, you have, have to wait for it to hit. open. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Jeff, we should uh, check the houses. Do you have a weapon yet? No, I have a fucking frying pan. Okay. I don't have anything right now. Yeah, let's try to find like a place without many zombies around, I guess. I've been able to I mean, reliably kill one zombie at a time. Like if you push spacebar to shove them over and then spacebar next to their head, you step on their head and it kills them in like two hits. I only have like a little bit less than a quarter tank of gas, but seems like enough. Yeah, Vinny. Try to find a place where there's not like a billion zombies running around. You uh -huh. said you needed a sheet. What is that? You have to open up your loot window to see. Oh, you can beep the horn and oh, shit too. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, don't do that. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, it would be good to get things away, and then you could, you know, kite them away, and Hang then on. just go back. I guess. Okay. Looks kind of. Uh, this would be a good place to check if it wasn't full of zombies. Ah! Uh oh. <laughs> but there are other cars here. Do you have to open them or something? Yeah, so every car, sometimes they don't even open. Like, they might be just too destroyed. But you hit E on the door and you go in. And sometimes the key isn't in it. Sometimes you have to find the key. It seems like oh. zombies nearby have the key in their pockets sometimes, though. So I'm going to hit the zombie. Oh, we missed them. Like over here. Yeah. Looks kind of cool. Back door. I think I have to turn the car off though. Okay, bad house. Let's let's hop the fence. There's someone in there. Some zombie. Uh, maybe if we go, you could be going from the window. I'm just trying to figure out how to turn this thing off so I don't waste the gas. Kill some of these zombies with the, the car, I guess. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, there's um VHS. Oh my god. This? No dude? No dude. Only this. Okay. No hood. Some pineapple in here. Whole lot of canned food. I'll leave some for you. No, I have I have food. I have a lot. You're trying of to get back in, fruit. Johnny. Okay. I dropped some pineapple if you need it. Yeah, it's getting hot in there. Wonder how far out we can go. It gets quieter out here in the woods or whatever. Uh, the area we were at, there were a bunch of houses. This looks kind of quiet. The rusty rifle. Like a bar or something? Maybe. I'm trying to figure out how to turn off this goddamn car. Maybe you right click light it? Light. I don't know. Yeah. Dave, you're, you're gonna love you're gonna love the way my character looks now. What 
Watch out, there, there, there is one. He hasn't noticed us. Oh, there's a guy in there. Yeah, oh, he saw that, me. That, that, that's... How do you... What? I found makeup. I got my, uh... Watch out, watch oh, out. Okay. He's, he's probably coming out. I had a frying pan. I don't know what the fuck happened to it. Man, I don't have anything. Can I hit them with a book? No, I don't think so. I thought I had a weapon. I don't know what that happened to it. No, I can't. Whoa! Oh, I told you that he to, was in there. I'm gonna try to push him down. Yeah, there we go. And I think you could stomp on his head. I'm, I'm to the right. There it is. How do you stomp on him? Just space, I guess, and then space once they fall. Yeah, walk near their head and click space. Uh, you want? I'm gonna cook up some meat. Nice. Nice, we got him. Johnny, your guy looks like Walter White. That was the exact. <laughs> that was the idea. <laughs> okay, I got I got meat in the oven right now. Oh boy. What did meat ever do to you to deserve that? Ooh, matches. Tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. They're like an Cigarettes. Upstairs. They're gonna get it. Oh, there's an upstairs back here, too. Nice. Beer bottle. Oh, that's something to drink. Baseball bat. Nice, dude. There you go. That meat will forever be trip. cooking. Hopefully it starts a fire. <laughs> Get rid of some zombies that way. Oh! There's a lot of food in here. Yeah. Make sure to look for a can opener, otherwise you can't eat most of the can stuff. I found one earlier, but I forgot to take it. Oh, this is just uh, a ripped up parking lot, I guess. Yeah, but we're near the highway. Is, uh... Jeff, did you get up there with the car? We're ransacking some bar right now. Okay. So we'll go. Yeah, I'll go up to the highway um, next. That'll be I, the next I got step. a lot of stuff. Maybe I'm carrying too much. I don't know if you want to take some. Well, maybe I can move it to the. Uh... I guess we could eat some of it right now, too. Yeah, I'm going to drink any. something because my character is kind of. I don't know if thirsty. I want to yeah, find... drink all this beer, though. If no, you find the. Nice. A plastic bag or any kind of bag you can um, distribute weight differently and carry more stuff around without getting slowed down a pl I like a plastic bag one. yeah and then you equip it and then it gives you an uh, additional tab on your inventory and you can drag it in there and it has weight reduction it's like in um king's way you can put a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag, and it'll each one will give you extra weight capacity. Exactly. Oh, nice. I think they remove that from here. You used to be able to do that in here too, but kind of. You can just take a garbage bag out of a fucking garbage can and use it as a fucking oh, container. Yeah. All right, Johnny. I'm gonna get back idea. in the car. It's it's a bad idea, but there's plenty did, of did, doors. Did you check uh, upstairs? Yeah, there's just a bunch of empty rooms. There wasn't anything crazy. On a plunger. Okay, let me get in the car. And there's like a bunch of cots and stuff. It'd be a cool place to like live, I guess. Oh Looking wait, I think I think we can uh, pile a crate. Yeah, we, we can uh, put stuff in the uh, trunk. Yeah, the trunk works for storage too. Okay, let me let me store some stuff in there. Some beer bottles, some beer cans. What's dumb uh, is I can't see you right now. I just see items like appearing behind us because like it's all point of view. You know what I mean? Like I'm not looking directly yeah. at you, so I can't maybe, see you. So it's maybe, like... maybe if you right click and look backwards, maybe you'll be able to see me. Uh, you would think with mirrors, right? You would be able to see. Oh, dear Lord. Maybe. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, I'm dropping it on the ground, not on the, not on the truck. Yeah. I think if you hit. Do... Yeah, inventory. Yeah, there you go. You figured it out. Yeah, the checkerboard oh, thing. I see it now. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to understand, like, 
the way all the oh, containers there's an, were. There's an empty bottle in the in the trunk. Nice. Fill just like an empty water. glass bottle. Yeah, yeah. It just says empty bottle, and it's... let me go. Uh, let me f put everything you know, in fill here. It up. And, uh, yeah, and fill the water bottle. I'm looking at the map right now, Dave. Where are you guys exactly? We're on the highway, probably like the midpoint. So the highway the is, end. um, the top. You know the left. horseshoe we were talking about last time. Do you see that at all? No, I haven't discovered that yet. Hmm. We're at a uh, burger, burger tanuki. Are you near any water? Hmm. No. no. Um. No. It's hard to tell if this is a highway or not. What I'm looking at right now. Is you'll you'll know it when you see it. It's four uh, lanes. It okay. Yeah, I think we got to keep looking then. You're still inside, right, Johnny? You're in the in the bar. Just eating an orange. I'll be right right back in one second. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, there's a work site over this way, Dave. I'm gonna go through. Okay. Something over here. I don't know. Hide in the toilet. Honey bucket. Oh, there's a zombie in there. I found a garbage bag. Can that? Yeah, if you can equip it, it should be used as a container. Well, there's a second part of the highway. Oh my god. I don't know, what do you want to do, Dave? Let's go this way. Try to get to this cross section. Crossroads. Okay. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just killing some zombies. Yeah, we go try to find the highway and find Dave and Vinny, I guess. Yeah, let's run back down. Did the time of day just get really bright <coughs> for anyone else? It dark. Yeah, it got dark and then got weirdly bright in one spot. Just my watch map says again. it's not even midnight yet, and for some reason it's still bright. Oh my god! Uh, I'll be right back in one second, so don't don't get okay. too crazy. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't get yourselves killed. Check. <laughs> Is the highway uh, separated by a yellow lane in the middle? Yeah, it's got four okay. lanes with the yellow lines. I'm on that right now. I'm just driving. No, are you further left or further right? <laughs> I think we we're further left. Okay, good. Then we might run into you. There's a motel uh, we're at. I just drove by Greens. Have you seen that? Mm -mm. I keep telling you locations. Um, have you seen place? Pizza have, World? No. Have you seen? Uh, does your map show like a big blue or purple square on it next to the highway? Mm, I can't look at it right this minute. Okay, I'm back. Acorn Plaza. Nah. Whoa! Oh, hey. Hop in. How? E. Oh, nice. I'll try to. Hi, oh, you gotta go on the Whoa. other side. <laughs> I'm Watch just trying out. to. I'm just trying to avoid some. I'm in. Yeah, we're in. Let's go. Let's go. Where me and Johnny were was like way quieter down this way. Yeah. Yeah. I love the cars. There's 3D and cool looking. I just found a lumber yard. I'm fucking liking this game so far. This is really cool. Can you yeah, turn good... around the camera? I don't know. You can zoom in and out with the mouse. Look at that pizza world. <laughs> oh, nice. It's, it's spelled world. Oh, okay. Don't want to get the car too beat up. How did you yeah, even got, find one that worked? Gas. I just got in it and it started working. Huh. I think you just got to try them. Some of them are probably bad batteries. Some are. Yeah, no gas. No gas. My um, my guy is hungry. Yeah, I, eat I have fruit. 
I, I, I got some food myself. Oh, okay. I'm going to go back to the bar we were at, I think, Johnny, if I can figure out how to get there. Yeah, that police seemed pretty safe to chill. Is this the way? Yeah, we came this way, didn't we? There's a gas station. We, we can get gas there, maybe. Yeah, this is where we were. It's kind of quiet. Oh! <laughs> Get to the pub. Um. There we go. Got his arm off. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope we didn't bring a whole up. fuckload of people, uh, zombies, with us. Uh, how do you? Uh, I think. How do you close the the window inventory? Uh, oh, there's, there's a, a little, pin. Yeah, in the top right corner. Yeah. When you click it, and then if you click in the game, it should close it. Oh, okay, okay. And you can also uh, drag and like move the windows anywhere you want to. Do we have any light? Or d is that even... It's probably not a great idea. Probably light a candle or something. I don't think we have... I, I got... We, we got lighters in the car. But what can we light though? Oh, you can cover the windows with uh, clothes. Yeah, that's how you keep them away, yeah. yeah you can rip up clothes and make uh, and use them as bandages. Or, yeah, you can use clothing to make them uh, like drapes and all kinds of stuff. You can even make a rope ladder out of clothes and leave out like a second story window if you want. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what we can burn. I'm not sure what all the interaction, but there are more clothes in the car if we need to cover the windows. I, I covered a couple. I covered two. I got drinking a beer. <laughs> if we, I, oh, there's cigarettes. If we cover all the windows, then we can have a light source. <laughs> My character's name is Keenan. <laughs> My name is uh, my character's name is Greg Clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> that was auto-generated by the game. <laughs> nah, it wasn't. I think I kept drinking orange soda too. Like I think it's Keenan and Kel. I think that might be a reference. Oh my god! Can we drink from the sink? Let's see. Drink. Yeah. Yeah, there's that's good. It's water source. You can drink from the toilet too if you need to. Oh. Just carrying around a bowl of water. Where are you? <laughs> I'm in a lumber yard. There's no zombies here. Water resources. It's all it's way out to the west, kind of in the woods. Maybe we should west. go there. I guess like up left. <laughs> I know in this perspective it's hard to Yeah. Specify. By where you're pointing. Here's what I propose after we get set up here is to go to that gas station and see if we can get the car the car filled uh, up. How, how do you cover the window? So you right click and then you know something. Right right click and I, then I, so, I forgot already. I, I don't so have to get gas so. so we can go out there and find mono. Now I'm just spending the night reading cooking for beginners. Craft ship rope, rip clothing, and that's it. So I think you I need to the uh, lights on. I think you need to rip the clothing first, and then There's use the rags switch. to make drapes. I need some food. We should put a no. curtain over this door. There's a window on the door. But we need more sheets, I guess. I have ripped sheets, but we need actual like sheets. I think if you just go. Stand near a bed. Do you think you can take the sheets off them? There's only cots in this particular building. Yeah. You know uh, what? I'm gonna go on a supply run. There's also a garbage bag in here and an uncooked cockroach if anyone needs it. At nighttime? No, not not at nighttime. <laughs> oh, okay. You can uh, move furniture around too. You can use a table to barricade a door, so it can't be you know easily broken through. Well, there's a pool table. 
How do you move something? I don't know about moving the pool table. Um, let me check. Because you can disassemble. The video is watching. They're moving tables around, so I know there's a way. You can press tab. Yeah, come upstairs in this bathroom real quick. I got something to show you. Can, you. you can press tab to pick up. And then press tab, tab well, to place. Oh. Well, fuck it. I couldn't cover the window. I couldn't figure it out. Do you have a sheet, Johnny? I I got clothes, but not a sheet specifically. Let me try something then. I'm going to rip up some... I'm going to rip up some... I got some, some ripped sheets. Dave, can you step yeah, on this? Yeah, ripped is not enough. You, oh, you need a full okay. sheet, yeah. No, it's actually blocking me from walking onto it. <laughs> what are we what are we looking at, Jeff? Up here. Where's here? <laughs> Which room? Up in the bathroom. Upstairs of the rusty con whatever this place is called. Over here, man. The rusty con <laughs> Can't say that. YouTube knows. Hang on, what's over here? Oh, there's a tarp, Johnny. We can probably use this. found a CD of philosophical quotes from Confucius. I thought that like someone could actually like, step onto this mousetrap, but it's just like... <laughs> Somehow Dave just disappeared. <laughs> I heard his voice for a second. It was like, uh. Oh, I'm right here. Oh, uh, I thought you guys like disconnected or something. Just walked away. Uh, you can eat like mice that you find there's like dead ones you can put them in the oven and cook them so i oh, guess that's that why that's there there's an uncooked yeah, I, it said there was a cockroach that was uncooked so remember that movie mousetrap a, from the 90s i watched that recently <laughs> that's a good movie <laughs> kind of. it's a ghostbuster it's an unofficial ghostbusters equal you know there's a bunch of canned food in the shelves here oh is there yeah, a ton, a ton of food. Does anyone have a can opener? Need, yeah. I put those there. Yeah, we would need a can, can opener. Uh, I think we got a problem. That's the storage. I'm not hungry yet, food. but it's good to know. The one's causing a ruckus outside. Oh, yeah, they're going for the one window that's not covered. I can't get out the door, too. There's and I a have... Table in the way. Oh, uh, tab, <laughs> and then... Here, uh, so you, you, go, you use the pickup mode. Oh, I see. You're good. It's pretty cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Pick up mode, then place. Like strung out looking zombie. There's like a naked one. <laughs> yeah, there's like really skinny looking zombies that are like double the speed of a normal one, and they're hard to push over, too. Let me check the dumpster. There's another garbage bag in here. Can you do anything with these payphones? There for looks. Oh, zombie in the building! Ow. Got it. I like that your guy's holding the garbage bag while he's running around. <laughs> with a trash knife. Man. <laughs> Looks like he's fucking. I'm a trash clown. That's my character. Have you like seen the makeup crawlers. on my face? Yeah, what the fuck? I thought that was just like a glitch. <laughs> okay, so here's the, here's the deal. No, I found makeup. Here's the deal. Uh, the material that I have, the tarp, does not work as a, as a window cover. What do you use it for then, I wonder? I don't know. I, I would just... Oh, did you yeah. see that? I just like ran to a wall and fell off. No. <laughs> uh, tarp can be can... used as a primary weapon. I don't know. I think the tarp's used for a, I don't know what it's called, but like a rain catcher. Because um. later in the game, uh, all the, the water supply to the town gets cut off, so water becomes super scarce. Oh, that happens? Yeah, not for a long time, though. Can you just run into the door?
Okay, so if you need to move the table, you click the box on the on the left on your inventory on the uh, UI above the magnifying glass and click pick up. Then you pick up the table. Huh. Oh, okay. So, Dave, this is your tutorial. There's a bunch of empty rooms, but can we sleep the night through? I wonder. That would be cool. Not sure how sleeping works in multiplayer. Um, yeah, it used to be that you would just like fast forward through things. I'm right clicking the. Uh... Is it giving you guys options to sleep? No. There you go. I guess since we can't do much with this window right now. I'm going to try to barricade it a little bit. Yeah, that would be good. My guy is exerted from running into the wall. What's this? Beer can. There's no place to cook here, right? Like, there's no oven? I don't think so. I'll have to drag one from a different house. <laughs> it's... Uh, you don't even need a hookup. Just just drag it. Um, no. Oh, yeah. oh. There's a uh, cockroach that's uncooked, but it's, it's um, uh, ha unhappiness plus 20. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy about eating a cockroach. I like how eating a stick of butter is like minus 10 happiness. Like, I don't know. I guess that depends on the person. Not for me. If anyone needs a pack of smokes, I just dropped one. I don't I know why character... anyone would need that, but... Yeah, I was going to say, I think your character can get addicted if you keep smoking, but one of the traits has something to do with smoking, so like some characters need to or else they... Are constantly in an anxiety state. Yeah, you could take it as a perk, so your guy, whenever you have cigarettes, you have like a buff. World of Horror does that too. It's almost morning. It's five thirty. How'd you get in here, Jeff? Oh, you were inside the whole time. Okay. I'm gonna put this zombie corpse in the trash. Damn it, I can't. Oh, guy at the window. I just threw it outside, the one that was inside here. You good? Just cleaning myself. Well, no it came through the window. Hold on, don't block the window yet. I wouldn't recommend going through a window with all this glass on it. Oh, uh, so then you start yeah, bleeding. You can take it out. You can remove it. Yeah, be sure everybody's wearing shoes because you can step on glass and you bleed for a long time. You have like an item in your hand. You can knock the glass out. Yeah. All right, I removed it from the window. Uh, I don't know how to remove it from <clears> the ground. <throat> from out here, anyway. Also, I... Uh... Uh, I got doctor perks, so I think I can help people. Also, you guys can get, you guys can take a bath in the sink. Oh, yeah. I guess that that will help you guys. I wash yeah. my clothes and everything pretty clean. Yeah, you can wash blood off of clothes and, and clean bandages, I think, too. So I'm gonna go on a supply run. It's getting clear now. Yeah, a little bit. Okay gonna look for a sheet uh maybe even like a hammer and wood so we can barricade that window up and yeah. um as much food as we can carry so dave we just have to make note you know what before we we're gonna we should sneak around through here let's as much uh stealth as possible and i'm also gonna make if you press m on your map Requires a pen or pencil. Oh god, we... <laughs> if you want to mark your location on the map, you need a pencil. 
Oh, I don't know. That's what I kind of game this is. This map. Oh, I, I have I four pens. Well, we need mono here then. Damn it. Where'd you guys go? So we're going just west. We're sneaking around. Uh, if, you, if you want, you can come with me, uh, Jeff. I'm right outside. My guy is really exerted right now. I think I just need to rest anyway, so I'm just going to chill. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, <laughs> Hold so on, like, gotta, Clown Cobain and, and, and uh, Gordon Freeman are going on a supply run. So you guys do your own thing if you need to. Oh shit, we got... We tr mm. Like his, it's a little picture of my lungs, and it says "highly exerted, barely jog." Then you can uh, sit on the ground. Yeah, I'm just chilling now. I guess just chill. Mm. Do one of the since it used to be more single player, there was like a whole aspect of the game that you fast forwarded through a lot of stuff. So if you were like you know needed to heal or rest, you just fast forwarded and you're good to go. But now I guess spend a lot of time chilling. Same thing with reading. Like the reading in this game buffs your skills a lot, but you would fast forward through it because you're just sitting there reading. So I guess now that. you just sit there literally reading. I don't get it. Look at that. Yeah. It says, hey. Was it say KY? Yeah, it says oh, KY. yeah. Because it's a Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky. Ball cap. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a real town, isn't it? It is, yeah. And because uh, the game's based in Kentucky with all the tornadoes that happened recently, the developers are doing a charity thing for uh, the towns affected by it, too. Dave, do we want to go? Part of me thinks we should go north because that's where the stores are. They're on the along the highway. Yeah, that seems good. It's probably going to be a little bit zombie ish up there, but. That's where <clears throat> that's where I'm going right now. You're going north left. North, yeah, north left. You guys checking out that gas station north uh, left of us? Did you see that? <laughs> no, I saw it earlier, but no, I'm not checking it out at the second. I'm right there at the gas station right now. Doesn't seem there is some zombies in here. There's one with a huge backpack. Oh, you want that definitely? Yeah, there are four, five, seven zombies. If you if you guys come, we can take them out. Oh, one's coming to me. Okay, I can take them one by one, unless my bat breaks. Okay, we're Dave and I are heading your uh, your way. If you yeah, but if you run, the problem with running is uh, it attracts zombies. So I was gonna say we could run there, but mm, then we'll end up bringing more. I see you, Johnny. Okay, so all right. Mm. It seems like at night they're more active too. I think it's like that whole deal. Oh, there's the backpack one. Yeah. Come here. Nice. Duffel bag. Okay. Very nice. Is there anything in there, or is it just a duffel bag? No, it's empty. Okay. Well, I mean, now you can carry a lot more. Or, like, yep. I would imagine. I got a, another garbage bag that is empty. Hmm. The more bags, the better. How do you shift between walking and have. running? Um, you, hold uh, you, hold, you hold shift, or you press all to toggle. Uh, Dave, uh, we're gonna need a little help in here. Okay. Then push C to go into sneak mode. The guys went inside. Uh, I'm inside. There's there's three zombies in here, but it looks like it'll be worth it. I'm walking over to you guys too. There's um. <clears throat> yeah, there's there's a. Uh granola in here just beef jerky there's chips instant popcorn uh, uncooked it's not like we can cook i think the place is clear now 
Oh, there's one coming outside. I know. I think I think this is one of you guys. Oh, it's Jeff. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Jeff, uh, you okay? You got us like a skull on you. Really? Look at my character. Maybe that means I'm dying. You're the doctor, right? Next to your, uh, let me do your medical check. <laughs> what does it say? It says you're okay. I, I don't know. Next to your name, there is like a skull. The fuck? But that that's it. Maybe it means he's infected. Oh, I, I see it now too. You're right. What the hell? I'm like fucking dying. Annotated oh. map. Maybe it yeah. means like I have like PvP on or something like that. Did everybody oh. join the faction? May have hit like a button that turned it on by accident. Oh, I used the music picking up. I hear no music. Huh. Oh, this weird. map is oh. interesting. I'll uh, drop it so you can take a look. Actually, wait. Let's tr let's try the uh, trade mechanic here. Make sure you rip up people's clothes and just have extra bandages on you, just in case you need them. The handy. Okay. <clears throat> oh wow. Well, it gives you, the map kind of gives you lots of information, but it also has little... Can you rotate it? Uh -huh. But there's a skull? On... Huh, on the map. It's weird. It's probably not a good, uh, that probably is a good area to avoid. Yeah. Now let's see if we can grab gas for the car. Yeah, I don't know how you would do that. Yeah. Seem like you can interact with it. Try over here. See? No, no. Uh, no. I guess it would make sense if there's no power, then the pumps wouldn't be on, right? Um, I oh. might have attracted some zombies. There is power because the light switches all work. Oh, um, yeah, maybe. I think maybe we need to find like a gas canister, something <gasps> to put the gas in. Because you can pump gas from stations directly into cars if it's powered up, so you can. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe oh, we just need to bring the car. Oh, God! Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I brought some zombies. I'll help. Get my weapon out. Ow. Oh, they took a nice chunk out of my, my, uh, neck. Better take care of that, Johnny. Let me give you a check. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. Disinfect. I've disinfected it. I'm good. I'm in a little bit of pain, you got, but... You, you got some dirty bandages. Let me take care of those. Stay, stay still. <laughs> Dave, you just phased out of existence again. That's because you looked away from me. Oh, right, right, right. right. <laughs> okay, uh, I think you're good now. How about you, Dave? I think I'm fine. Hey, look at this. Yeah, There's a little... Empty. There's a light. I just found like 40 wooden planks for crafting, but I don't think any of us have any crafting skill. Unless someone picked a carpenter or something. There was there were some uh, useful medical stuff in the in the van. There's a four zombies to our left. <clears throat> well, oh, 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 do you guys have the whole map yet? 
not really. Okay, no. Jeff, come here. Oh, yeah, reading it opens the whole thing. Nice. Check this out. Grab that, read it, and then you will have the whole map. That you've seen? Yeah. We're as far left as you can go. Mono, if you want to know how to get to us... Oh, wow. We're literally all the way far left on the map. It's like, are you against water? No. No. I'm gonna put this on the ground for whoever needs it. Um, are you near um, two lakes? Uh, I'm in a really secluded area way northwest. Keep in mind that map is the city that we're in, and there's multiple cities on the total map. That's why we have, like, the starting location. Right. So, uh, it's possible Mono has left the border. Well, I didn't go that far out. I mean, I can still see this where I started. So, if you need to get to us, or if you need to try, you just keep going left on the highway, <clears throat> basically. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the car and see if we can pump gas. I'm gonna bring it over here. Yeah. Okay, you do that. I'm going to a convenience store. You know there's a convenience store called the Come and Go? It's spelled K-U-M. Cumin. It's Cumin Go. Hey, where did you guys go? I'm north a little bit, to the right. I went to the base. Okay. I'm gonna hang in, I'm gonna get in the car with Jeff. I think I went to the gas station. Oh, there's a lot of zombies up north, Vinny. Watch out. Uh -oh. Didn't you start guys? on the first turn. That was kind of weird. Uh -huh. Did you guys see that if you go to the engine of the car and do vehicle mechanics, you get like a super detailed rundown of the car? Yeah. Like every piece, yeah. Like all the percentage of the health and stuff. Johnny, I might need a bandage again. Okay. Oh man, there's a lot of zombies here. <clears throat> Proper destruction derby rules you want to hit them with the trunk, not the hood. You would think at low speed it wouldn't damage the car to run people over that much, right? <laughs> Discomfort. Something doesn't feel right, it says. Am I going to turn into a zombie? Maybe. Okay, you're bandaged now. I'm bandaged, but I'm also probably fucked. Whatever is left, I think you just have to wait it and, uh, so it heals out. I don't know how the fuck you fill the car up. Also, whenever you get the chance, take a bath. Okay. That, that will probably help you. There's a diner. Yeah, doesn't look like there's a ton of zombies here either, so... Oh, there are a, a good bunch of to do our left. Are they coming this way? No, not yet. <laughs> Jeff. You actually have to make sure that you're parked the correct way so that the gas pump is next to the intake. It's closed. Really? It's like uh, on the right side or not? That's let's see ridiculous. if there's another yeah. way in, because if we there's smash the window running. or something, we might make too much noise and attract all those mm -hmm. zombies. Man, this might not be very effective for this. <clears throat> okay. I have to like lure them away. Oh shit, did you get a number, dude? Nope. Out of there. I'm washing myself, Johnny, in the sink. Nice. Nice. Hey, Dave, I'm gonna, I'm gonna park the car and try to just kite these zombies away. Alright. I'm gonna run with them this way, see so if we can get them to follow me. Oh, there is a fridge in here, and there is lots of food. Zombies. There is shrimp, and it's fresh. <laughs> it, 
Seriously, it says shrimp fresh. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, also, there is a kitchen in here. We could probably cook stuff here if we needed to. Marinara sauce. A baking pan. Flour. Rolling pin. That could be a weapon. Hmm. Oh, yeah. They, those there's work a, as weapons. Yeah, there's works. a sack yeah. to carry stuff. There's a meat cleaver. There's a bunch Ooh, of meat. Nice. That'll work. We will, ha we will have to cook it. We can cook it in here. You want to cook some meat? Actually, I want to make yeah. the stir fry that I have, so I'm gonna turn on the uh, the. Okay. <clears throat> There's a bunch of food in in the container, so, but don't take it out unless you need to because it might rot because it's that fresh. Did you find yeah, the shrimp yet? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> I don't know how to I'm cook, boring, though. I got There's eggplant and outside. pork chop. Let me take care of that before it uh, tries to come inside and attracts okay. the others. Put in container oven. I guess I can put the stir fry in the oven. I you can actually works, set the I oven guess. time. Yeah, there's like a timer, and I think you can change temperature, too. Minced meat, shrimp, fresh, uncooked, yeah. I found this sh this sick cowboy hat that that zombie was wearing. <laughs> yeah, I had one earlier. I'm sad because I took my clown makeup off. By accident. To wash yourself? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some new clown makeup. I just need to yeah. know if, if I could use the damn frying pan to cook on the stove. I think you can see what side it is if you uh, investigate the car or whatever it is. Uh oh. Yeah, I believe to, to cook with things like pots and pans, you equip like the pot and then you put the things in it like an inventory item and then put oh. that I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh I think it's on the left. Yeah, except I put them in the oven and not on the uh, on the stove. Hmm, I mean if you like right click the oven does it give you any option to say like place on stove, place in oven? No. Not that I could tell. I have eggplant and pork. Chop. Stir fry. Fresh cooked. Got it. Really? Got it? Nice. Yeah, refueling from Ick. gas pump. Fucking zombie. Could someone who's at the house you guys are at post a screenshot of oh, it in the Discord so I can see what I'm looking for? Do you one better and post the map? Do what? Oh yeah, the map would be helpful. Okay, so I just emptied <clears throat> the food out of the pan and now the food is gone. Did it just put it on the floor? I don't know, I don't see it. Fuck. Should be all fueled up, let's see. Oh, you guys are way south of me. Okay, I'll make my way over there. Yeah, it's fueled up. Hell yeah, dude. Now we should just find a mechanic book so that we can fix it, too. What should we do? Go find those guys? Yeah. Are they this way? This cooking mechanic shit is very complicated. You guys in this diner? Yeah. I have the Cooking for Beginners book. I read the whole thing. Um, but it didn't give me like a new skill, like gem or whatever in the skills thing. So I don't know if it worked. How do you do uh, skills again? 
click, uh, if you the, click the heart in the top left and then click the skills tab, it should be next oh, to info. Oh, okay. If you hover over the square for the skill, you can see if you have any XP in it or not. Uh, it's entirely <laughs> possible you read a book that was too hard to read, like it was intermediate or expert cooking instead of beginner. Well, it does say beginner. Mm -hmm. I have like a arrow Trying pointing it at it that's like animated, but there's nothing in that spot. And it says experience zero out of 71. Yeah, you definitely didn't understand whatever you were reading, I guess. You might have been, your hmm. reading may have been interrupted. It's possible. Are there a lot of zombies outside? Nothing we can't take care of. Jeff, you look like a butcher. <laughs> Just ripping all this clothing up. Yeah, I have then we can wash the, the if clothes. I eat, this, I eat the steak. Is it uh, cooked? Burnt, yeah. Ah, shit, it's burnt. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it. I put a watch on, and now I have a uh, actual like UI for a watch in the right corner. Yeah, and the oh, temperature nice. and date, too. I have, like, four cool. watches on me. I'll bring you guys. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I like that. You just, like, eat the sugar? Okay, now I, have, weapon. now I have clean rag. Um, Jeff, and the, there's a cleaver in here. Is there? Let me grab that. Johnny, you have that cleaver? Oh, it's right here, Jeff. Uh, it's right here. Yeah, it should be over. Heck. Bloody apron does, with the cleaver. What What does uh, search mode do? No, I don't know. It's for that. like foraging in the woods. Oh. oh. Vision gets a little blurry around you. There's another. Uh, there's a sink in the bathroom if you need to wash yourself as well. Since that other one is being used, I'm co I'm cooking up some more stuff. <laughs> Just trying. I'll cooking? keep an eye on it this time. Are you cooking the shrimp? <laughs> no, that I burnt. <laughs> Minced meat and pork chop. My character's still in pain. It's just vague pain. Aren't we all? <laughs> pain. I'm gonna check you guys. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yo, this building next door is like man zombies. Man. Boy, cooking in this game sure is fun. Well, okay, let's this. check uh, Mr. Gordon Freeman here. Okay, I got oh, cooked good. mincemeat. And, uh... This pork chop is almost done, I think. And it's done. Alright, I got some... I actually cooked. Uh, probably be a good idea to turn off the oven. Uh, let me... Clean your bandages. I did. No, the ones you have right now are dirty. On me? That I'm wearing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you see that? Uh, seeing, uh, I doing the medical check and it said your bandages were dirty. Bandaged. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. You're good now. Well, Mano, you can tell if the book you're reading is working. If you open up your skills window while you're reading, you'll see arrows next to the tip that it's increasing. Oh, because that's weird because I see those arrows now and I'm just like walking around, not reading anything. Has any? Oh. <clears throat> Has anyone? Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
been to the house <laughs> yeah. directly to the right of the diner. It has a lot of zombies on it. That's what I, was I, I was gonna go, but uh, I got distracted with so many zombies. We can go check it out now. Okay. Yeah, this place is a little infested. Uh, well, I'm, I'm at the... Oh, shit, they're out. There's a couple of them. We can probably take them. I'm at the blue uh, motel thing now, so it's taking me a long time to get over there. It's bl light blue on the map. Wow, this granny won't go down. She's, she's, she's not... <laughs> Ooh, I fell. I fell again. I'm gonna use my frying pan. These things are sturdy. Okay, um, Oh no! I climbed through that. Forgot to remove the glass. My groin was injured. Yeah. Damn. Groin injured. <laughs> Can you open the door if you go through there? Oh shit, I just found a shotgun. Oh, nice, nice. Nice. Watch out, there's a zombie on that door. Yeah, there's a couple in here. The door is closed, but can you open it's it? banging on the door. Let me see if I can open them. There's a bunch on the other side, too. Watch out! Well, let me take care of the one that's outside. Oh, they're in the kitchen, too. Watch out. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Ah, oh, you fucker. Oh, fuck. Oh, my friend. They're like four broke. following me. Five. Six. They're all outside. The zombie does not want to fall. He's a fucking bastard. Oh, God. There are so many in the, in the parking lot. Uh oh. I mean, we should cut our losses, maybe, and, and just head out of here then. Especially yeah. if they, uh, if Jeff got a shotgun. Try to lead I'm the horde into the right wood. Now. They get stuck in the forest and you can escape. Took off my shirt oh my because God. it's really hot. Yep. Oh, fuck. Watch out. I'll see you guys south. Watch out, Mr. Freeman. Fuck. Fuck. Hmm. Yeah, that was bad. I'm gonna get on the car and heal myself. <clears throat> uh oh. Get in the car and drive it, Jeff. You have the keys. We don't. <laughs> Nice, no ammo shotgun. Uh oh. Brian, it's not going. It's like stuck. Oh. Oh. That was one dying. Yeah, that was Johnny. Johnny Damn it. Johnny's dying. Johnny's yep. dead. <laughs> he had no shirt on at the end, too. It was like. <clears throat> they, pull, they pull me out of the car. What the fuck? They pulled me out of the car and I couldn't run because my character was tired. Now I'm a zombie. You gotta get my duffel bag because it has a lot of shit. Jeff, you're driving into unknown territory, just so you know. Oh, god damn it. Where should I go then? Um, maybe mm. we want to regroup back at the hotel or tavern I, or pub or whatever it was. I don't recommend going down the highway. There's like 50 zombies all along it. 
we just find like a quiet house to take over or something? Yeah, we could do that. I'm gonna see if I can get, get Johnny's, Johnny's stuff back. I'm close to it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm walking away from the diner to the left, to the to the east, uh, west. Sorry. Wait, you're dead though, no? And he's, yeah, he but, can but, see I, his I, dead I, body. Oh, yeah, I can see. Oh, my I see dead him. Body. I see him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll lead you guys to it. I just made another one that looks exactly the same. God damn it. We could probably kite these zombies away, too. It looks like he's dead. Oh, I'm pretty far away. Yeah, all right. I'll get out and you try to kite him. I'll, I'll kite him away with the car. You stay in there. Stay in. Oh, okay. I'll stay. That way, maybe they'll follow the car and then kind of like just move back around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor car. Lumberyard has like a huge van that looked pretty cool and good condition. They have the keys though? Don't think so. Well, some of them followed you, some of them didn't. Back around. Coming back around again. Remember that cool cover of the mage of the Rage Against the Machine? <laughs> I think I heard a shot. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Vinny, have you have you ever seen Speed Racer? No. That's actually a, a really, really good. Movie. Yeah, yeah, I've heard, I've heard people like that movie a lot. Um, I see Johnny's body, but it's it's gonna be impossible for me to grab that. There's still too many of them. I don't want that sheriff zombie. <laughs> like he might have yeah. like a his body armor. I have something cool on him. Although, I guess anything. Well, they're all following me, so if you want to go back there. Alright, that might work. Try to hop out, Dave. Yeah. I'm gonna head into the gas station and barricade as much as I can. Let's see if I can even do that. Yeah, they want me. <laughs> the fuckers. Just picked up a shotgun, a bulletproof vest, and a nightstick. That's good. That's something. What if instead... Oh. Oh no. I didn't thought I did not know that was right there. Uh-oh. We good, we good. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna start trying to repair. Uh-oh. Uh we good, we good. I'm applying bandages. I'm gonna eat the salami. I like stuck. What the hell's going on? Like flat tire or something. And we got incoming. Are you back at Johnny's body? Where where uh, are you guys? We're at the, the gas station. The condition of the engine is zero, so... Uh-oh. Uh, to repair it, we need level four mechanics with a wrench and a spare engine part. I do not believe we're going to get this thing. Yeah, the thing's fucked. Okay. 
key for this thing. I'll go uh, creep up on Johnny's body and see if I can get there. There was a small altercation with a fire hydrant that may have rendered the car useless. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't happening. How do you shout? Oh. Is that you, Jeff? Yeah. I got a couple of them on me. Mm. Oh, I got oh, an Lord. ambulance and... I got the key. Nice, dude. How do I turn it on? Oh, I did. Oh, wait, it has no gas. Never mind. <laughs> oh, we figured out how to do gas at least. These zombies are just so attracted to the guy creeping around in the woods. Yeah, they don't. They are not giving this body up. We can come back. Okay, we don't want to bring him to the bar, though. I don't think, right? No. Yeah. I'm wandering into the woods right now, looking for a. This guy got a credit card. Pull through. Hang on, Johnny's body is is now free. I'm gonna leave the key of, to the ambulance on the, uh... Got it. Nice. I'm not able to move quickly, though. Because I am... Anxious and injured, I think. I'll try to take them to the gas station if possible. That way they can get stuck on a door. So how do you how do you get gas so I can maybe gas the ambulance? <clears throat> how did it work actually? Uh you roll up close like you did and then right click on the car itself and it should have refuel from gas station or something. Oh like okay. Well, I'm not doing that. But it has to be the right side, and I think the side is determined by looking at the mechanic view and seeing which side the gas uh, tank is on. Then, do you know how many zombies are behind you right now? Not really. Also, the duffel bag had nothing in it. Your body still has everything on it. That's the that's the real problem. No, no, uh, the stuff is is in the duffel bag. I'm pretty sure, unless it. I don't it, know. It's yeah. I have to. It vanishes. No, it's it's still on your body. I picked up only the duffel bag. That's the problem. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna Weird. Get them to stop following. <clears throat> that doesn't make much sense considering the duffel bag was the the thing that had the stuff in it. Maybe it's a bug or something. Well, I just ate an unknown mushroom. Wish me luck. Mono's side quest is like Luigi's. Like story in Paper Mario on Thousand Year Door. <laughs> right. I'm pretty well equipped. Nothing has injured me at all. I have a lot of food. I just need water. Okay, I'm going to head back to the bar. It's going to be nighttime very soon. All right, I'm back at the bar and I don't have any zombies following me. Still no sheets to cover the 
window. Okay, the mushroom isn't going well. <laughs> it says I'm queasy. I'm going to be placing some food in the bar. Did you lose him? Yeah, I think I did. In the in the woods. Well, I've got meat and pickles if you need it. That neither of which are euphemisms. They're somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. How do you mono with plastic bags? How do you do ripped uh, weight reduction? Because it says weight reduction thirty, but. Oops. Uh, you have to equip it, and then anything you put in it will have reduced weight. So how do you open it up? It's one of the tabs on the right side of your inventory. Um. Oh. Oh, Johnny, yeah, I have all your stuff. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still in the house I started at. It's, uh... It's uh, all the way uh, east. Oh, I'm gonna die. Uh. Near to a blue marking, near to a blue mark building. To the east. Yeah. I'll 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 get I'll get to you guys. I don't remember which one of these was the bar though. Oh, it's this yellow one. I'm gonna mark it. There we go. That way I can find it easier. Okay, so in the bar, there's tons of food. Is this a refrigerator? Yeah, this is a refrigerator. I, should, I guess I should... I guess food goes bad. Maybe the cooked meat, perhaps? Put the pork chop and meat in the fridge. It's just nondescript minced meat. Well, it's nice to be able to finally unequip some of this stuff, man. So if you put stuff in a garbage bag, that, like, the weight distribution. Yeah, it should reduce yeah. whatever's in the bag. But you also have to equip the bag, too. Right. So, like, right click and do equip secondary or whatever. Okay, so, oh, okay, I see. Got it. Um, wrench. I have a wrench. I don't know if that's gonna do much, but I could use it to, uh, I don't know, for car stuff? Does it say, uh, tool on it? Yeah, it says tool. Yeah, it usually means it's related to, like, a crafting feature. So I, I can't specifically use that to, uh, board up a window, right? As far as you're aware. I think you need a hammer specifically, and then you have to find nails, and you can get nails from taking furniture apart. Oh. Oh, okay. Disassemble. So if I, if I were to right-click, disassemble wooden bar stool. I need it needs ball peen hammer. 
Yeah. Well, you probably have a couple of those things if you think about it. Yeah. So there's a rest function, but I wonder if there's a way to just sit in a chair. Because my character is agitated. And... Yeah, I don't think so. I was trying to do that. Vinny, have you ever picked up too much stuff and then highlighted, hovered over the uh, status effect that it gives you? No. You should, you should do that at some point. Too much stuff? Yeah, pick up too much stuff. <laughs> I already have a bunch of stuff, but not too much. Like, you can see the number in your inventory is out of something, right? 2.8 out of 18, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, you gotta, we gotta find something heavy for you to pick up. And what does this do? Oh, I just want you to see the description. Oh, okay. Are you guys hearing music? No. Yes? No. No? Oh, okay. Is there supposed to be? Because there's a music volume option. Well, there's radios. Oh, 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 oh I see. But I don't you can find it. CDs and tapes and stuff. Uh, I just got killed. You rest better if you sit on the ground. At least I think you do. I don't know, my character rested. is still agitated, though. Makes sense. Let me try to uh, rest in this. There's a cot. I wish we could rip up the cot and use that to cover the window. Still makes me nervous to have that window exposed like that. Disassemble stretcher bed requires ball ball peen hammer or stone hammer. Oh yeah, you can craft a hammer in the woods too. I'm not sure how difficult that is though. So I wonder how do, how does my character become Oh god, I'm wearing dirty bandages like crazy. Hmm. Yeah, you can you can just like while you're waiting while you're surviving, you could just do exercise. Wow. Makes you think. Really, it really makes you think. Getting bored, occupy yourself, or seek entertainment. Huh? Yeah, you can just read. Or watch a TV, or listen to the radio. Huh. I wonder if there's an option in the sink to wash all bandages. Or do you have to disinfect them? Hmm. Overall body status is moderate damage. Well, I have bottle of disinfectant, but I think it's. Let's see, yeah, there's not, um, there's nothing left.
Yeah, these bandages are just, like, fucking dirty. This game is fascinating in its approach to realism. Even if it's not particularly fun at times. Yeah, I think it's a good balance. Like, some games that are too focused on realism can be miserable, but I think this is just enough to be reasonable. Mm-hmm. I think of it as like a mod for the Sims that brings in zombies. That's all it is. Yeah. Ooh, bit Open world oh, Sims. That's not zombies. good. It's infected and bitten. Um, hmm. Dave, you don't happen to have any disinfectant, right? Or maybe is there any? We can use alcohol. Maybe. Is there any alcohol left? Mm. I have antidepressants. I don't think that's going to work. Rub the antidepressants in the skin. <laughs> uh, orange soda? Probably not that. Uh, Keenan died. Orange soda. For oh, your, uh, your character. Thank God. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, there's beer. Mm. Yeah, I don't think beer would make a good disinfectant. You know what, my character's had a hard life, I'm gonna have that beer. Hey, Mr. Freeman, about that beer I owe ya. Yeah, I've, I've had dirty bandages on for a while. Not good. That's a really cool thing. How deep the menu is for, like, just your wounds. Crazy. My groin? Oh, no. My, is my groin still damaged? <laughs> no. Groin's alright. Groin's alright. Groin damaged. Yo, bro! You fucking- Balls You fucking serious? Brain. You nerd! You nerd, you fucking damaged! You're in the zombie apocalypse and you got yourself cockbitten by a zombo? What are you, scrub? But you don't know how to play video games, bro. This is the zombie apocalypse, okay? I like, I like murdered four geeks just tonight. There's gonna be a bunch of like, uh, like gamer children in the real zombie apocalypse if it happens. Like comparing stats <laughs> and kill streaks. Oh god. With how much influence like movies, video games, and all that has on our perception of like. A dystopian world. I bet it would just turn into like a video game. People would treat it like it. Yeah, I would not be surprised. Would not be surprised. It's like I'm the protagonist of this traumatic situation. I'm gonna be the hero. Alright, so here's the deal. We gotta make it so that bottle caps are the new currency. Don't Probably someone that's already collecting for that purpose, because they think it's real life. Yeah. Did I just hear meat? <laughs> Is that from my speakers? Yeah. What's really cool is my push to talk button is the same as my sprint button. Alt. Yeah. Um, to cook food, you just put it on a oven and turn it on and leave it in, in the inventory of the oven, right? Yeah, until it's cooked. It seems to work well okay. enough. I have wet sneakers right now. I don't know where I'm wearing shoes. Okay. <clears throat> no, my character's still stressed, and I have the salami. Uh, let's see. How far are we from another thing? D Dave, do you want to head to those those black buildings? Yeah. All right. So we still need sheets. Oh, it's nighttime. Well, maybe that's better, because we could sneak around. It's 4 a.m. Okay. Let me equip a frying pan. I 
actually. Yeah, I need a new weapon. I have an extra frying pan. Perfect. I need new pants. Okay, so I don't know what those black buildings are, but anything at this point would be nice to investigate. Pretty quiet so far. I wonder if it's in an, uh, an industrial kind of building, like an industrial. I don't know, some kind of LMB warehouse. Okay, Dave, sneak. We gotta sneak. Uh. There's a fuckload of zombies to the right, so let's see if we can get in here without... If you see wooden crates that look like decoration, they're actually containers, so like, be sure to check all those. Because they kind of blend into the background, they look like decoration. Oh, okay. What? Someone's graffiti is just what? Are you fighting a zombie? Yeah, it's it's fine. Um, first aid kit, nice. Pipe wrench. Bandages. Sewing kit. Plunger? Eh. You don't wanna be Mario? <laughs> <laughs> There's planks and a garden saw that could help us make that window. Yeah, there's some construction stuff in these boxes. Oh, I'm a dumbass. <clears throat> I, w I, I wanted to break a window, but I didn't. I wasn't equipping a weapon, so I just broke it with my arms. Yep, that'll <laughs> that'll get you nice and bloody. Yep. <gasps> Found it, Nanny. You found what? Hang on, zombies. Crowbar. <laughs> you really are Gordon Freeman now. Yeah. It's too bad it's not red, but whatever. I'll take Close it. enough. It's metal pipe, box of nails, planks. We need a, a hammer. If we could find a hammer, we'd be in good shape. Your nails are really good. Be sure to grab those. Uh, there's several more oh, on the way. You, you can even uh, watch TV and turn it the TV yeah, on. Yeah, you can learn from the TV, too. Stuff. Yeah, educational yeah. shows. Club hammer, got a hammer. Ooh, found some decent books in here. Cooking for beginners, cooking for intermediate, intermediate VHS, survival instinct. Now, it'll take you forever to read them, but if you... yeah. <clears throat> but it might be worth having. Carrot seeds packet. For gardening purposes, I guess. Make some... food. Ball peen hammer. Nice, grab that. I need a backup, yeah. Box of box of nails. There's a regular hammer. I'm going to equip. Oh, I didn't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna equip a garbage bag. That's got some weight. Now I'm ready to science. I got my goggles on. That's the real Gordon Freeman. Who's that? Mana. Oh, hey. Purple 
purple paint. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Found a duffel bag. Looking for a car. There, but operating. A zombie is still trying to get in. Oh, I see the grocery store right here. Any sheets? Pretty Pretty small. No. I'm gonna grab more planks. Movement compromised. Yeah, I'm pretty much full. Uh, maybe we can. Oh, you have the the icon on the top right. Oh yeah, I'm I'm totally full. Hover over it. It's extremely heavy load. Heavy load. Tear the load. Einstein. Oh. Einstein must have. Oh had heavy my load. fucking hell! How did I not think of that? <laughs> what a heavy load Einstein must have had. Fucking morons everywhere. <laughs> Put a fucking cat in it. Have Sting milk it. I don't give a shit. I love his story about how he had uh, dinner with George Lucas at a salad bar. It's like, now I like salad, but all I had was salad. Which is exactly why he turned down Return of the Jedi, because George Lucas took him for salad. It's legendary. Alright, I think uh, I'm full. I can't move faster than this, really, so let's bring all this stuff back. How do you sit on the... Uh, on a on a piece of furniture to watch the uh, VHS thing? I don't think you can actually sit on furniture. Oh. All right, Mono, are you and Jeff heading back to... You guys headed back to the base? We got separated. Yeah, it was a huge horde. I'm trying to lose them. I just don't remember the zombies being this, like, aware in old versions. And they never had this much trouble to just be left alone. It depends. Sometimes it's not too bad. This is not a good area, though, compared to where the bar is, where these guys are. Like, way quieter over there. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, this horde is insane that's following me right now. How do I know if my if my guy is watching the TV to learn the VHS thing? You'll see like a green word appear over your head for whatever it is that you're trying to learn. Oh, okay. It just pops up every like five or ten seconds. And if you look at the skills tab, you should see arrows next to the skill being trained. Mm. Mm, okay. M Mono, do you know how to like put planks over a door? Over a window? Yeah, um, I don't remember exactly, but I think you have to like equip the hammer and equip the board and then like right click the door when you have nails in your inventory, I think. Okay. It's been a while. Hmm. Can make a splint. Can make several and things. You can actually board up either side of a door or window, like from the inside or for the outside. I think even both. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I have the carpentry skills to make that happen, though. Oh, well. I'm going to take a quick second away. I'll be right back. I'm going to pause. Okay, I'm back.
Ähm. Hm. I wonder if I still have a heavy load. There yeah, I do. Well, I'm just gonna put all kinds of crap that I found in here and hope that uh, this is what I have to do. So I wonder if this first aid kit can be used on my zombie bite, because I am pretty, pretty fucked up right now. Hmm. Dirty bandage on my left forearm. No, I think I'm okay. I'm in minor damage. Well, I'm still bitten. Mm. Yeah. I think if you're infected, you'll continuously have a fever that won't go away. Until you die? Yeah, it'll inevitably kill you, yeah. Aw, oh, sick. I... There, there's always a lot of debate about, like, whether or not there is a cure in the game or not. I don't know if they ever put one in or if it's secret or what there used to be a bug in the game where if you gave yourself salmonella intentionally it would like overwrite the zombie infection and then you could just like cure the salmonella and then you're cured of the infection but <laughs> I really doubt that uh, is still in the game so you just like eat uncooked food over and over again that's the zombie cure of eating uncooked food that's nice. This was like two years ago or something, though. Okay, so... Uh, I don't think this hammer is correct. I think this, this is a bad hammer. Carpentry, <clears throat> fence, furniture, bar, it's a bar element, door, wooden frame, door, wall, wooden frame, wall, no, there's, there should be a window option, that's weird. I can make a wooden cross, that's not it, that's weird. Uh, barbed fence, uh, furniture. stairs. Wow, I really can't find the way to, like, board up this window. Well, I know it's possible. I just don't remember the procedure. Yeah. Hmm. The zombie was wearing earbuds. Isn't that a meme or something? <laughs> so you have nails and a plank on you? Yeah. Uh, do I have nails on me? No, I put the nails away. That's the problem. It's one of the problems. And I believe when you're using something for crafting, it has to be out of any containers. It has to be like in your base inventory. Okay. Well, I found my way back. Okay, I have nails now. I have a hundred nails. I can make a campfire. You wanna drop some of it? Can you drop, like, split it and drop it? 
some of the Vinny, do you still have some of the items that I had in my bag? Yeah, they're all in the bar. Uh, disinfecting, I don't think I have any more of that. Because I think I need uh, to disinfect something on me. Well, I brought some food, so I'm going to leave it on the... Uh, the shelves. You keep finding toilet paper everywhere. I have. Well, I was like, I that's like it. earlier this year. Like all that's in some of these houses. Dave, can you pick up this orange dumpster by chance? It says you need a crowbar, so you might be able to do it. I don't know if you can. Uh, I need two carpentry to do that. Mm. Yeah, uh, when you right click on the window, it's supposed to, one of the options is supposed to be barricade. That's how you know that you have all the right stuff for it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't think I have the right stuff. I need a tree branch and I can make a spear. Like, you can apparently make a number of interesting things. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can put like a bread knife on a, a butter knife on a spear. cooking. I, you can make a burrito. A carpentry. Build drawers. With a butter knife? <laughs> no. A oh, barricade. Finally. I don't know why I don't get that option. Might depend on like who you picked as uh, like an occupation. Well, you need planks and you need the um, the nails as well. So you have those, Dave. Yeah, and apparently carpentry you can have level zero and still make a barricade. Oh, I found chickens. Like like real chickens. Yeah. I'm out in the middle of the woods. I need to get out of here. Okay. Now there's like houses hidden in the woods you can find that have like survival shit set up in them. So I don't know how to do it, but I need. A tree branch. I believe you get that from using that search mode when you're walking around the woods. How does search mode even work? So like you turn it on and as you walk around, you'll occasionally see like a little uh, eyeball icon above your character. And then it'll give you an option to pick up unknown item. And then it will be like a twig or a mushroom or something. So just turn it on, wander around until you see an eyeball icon. Sorry, I hear it through your speakers some cool noises. Sorry, it's real. I'll turn it down. <laughs> it's more immersive. It's like I'm actually dying. Yeah. Oh, I found railroad tracks in the middle of the woods. I wonder if there's like a train. All right, I don't have as much noise. Uh, did you hear what I said about the search mode? Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. I found like a big railroad track. I wonder if there's any point to this.
I haven't seen anything in the woods yet. I like the sounds of being in the woods. It actually sounds like the woods. Hey, can you repair like broken equipment, like knives? Yeah. Right click and choose repair. It'll tell you what you need to know. I haven't seen that icon once. Really weird. Did you guys pick up the bat that I had when I died? Mm -mm. The area was too hot. Oh. Oh, there's the um, eye. Oh, okay. And then it should leave a little like question mark pin when you click it. Mm hmm. I got three berries. And I'm wondering if something as big as like a stick, if you need to use like a saw on a tree or something, that might be. Oh, okay. I usually just get twigs. I don't know if you can find a stick though. I'm not sure. Well, here's the thing. I have a saw in one of the boxes. Can one of you guys grab the saw from under the, the bar and try to like cut down a tree? Yeah. 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 Hey, you want to see some magic? And then, like, he chroma keys himself out, and then he chroma keys himself back in with the cucumber. It's the same bit every time. The only difference is, like, it's how he shows the cucumber. It's a master of his art. Yeah, you can do so much with just one, you know, one cucumber. One frog, one cucumber. I still think it's so, uh, so gross that people used to call cucumbers cukes over here. <laughs> and that just the sound of cuke is such a gross word. I don't know. I hated it. What about the next part? The comes. <laughs> Or just umber, you know. You want some cums in your salad? I mean, cukes. Heard you can fight coronavirus with that. No, I'm kidding. God. From that article. Are, no. Are you joking, or did you read an article that said that? Because I'm sure <laughs> no. there's... I'm it's the article that we all saw. Oh. Everybody but you. Uh, I'm, I have my saws equipped, and I'm at trees trying to do stuff, and nothing's really coming up. Hmm. Just following a railroad track. Man, the my infected arm bandage just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting getting infected. So I have a first aid kit. You might oh, it's need got to alcohol have, wipes and stuff. Okay. So you might need to have a uh, medical ability to like fully utilize it. Those alcohol uh, wipes are the ones I need to clean people and infections. I, I think one of my uh, injuries might be a little infected. Uh, when you guys have died have you respawned in the same place each time no yeah. it's a different place I've spawned in the same house three times in a row now that's oh. weird
I think it's kind of an exercise in futility to try to keep this dude alive. Well, it's like when you start the game, this is how you died. So if you look at your map now, I'm, I'm curious if this is shared. It probably isn't. Can you see like an icon next to where we are? I put one there for myself, but... Uh, okay, then it's not shared. Yeah. Yeah, I put the saws in one of these bars. So no luck, huh? Nah, I couldn't get anything to happen. Well, it <clears> says <throat> here... Spear, so crafted spear. You need plank and tree branch. And either a chip stone, hunting knife, kitchen knife, machete, meat cleaver, or stone knife. So... That's how you do it. Mm. Attach fork to spear. Hell yeah. Now you gotta try it in. How you eat grapes? The zombie apocalypse. Build spiked plank. All right. Where the fuck did I put the rest of the planks? Gonna craft a spiked plank. Careful you don't get snuck up on by a zombie when you're doing carpentry, because all that stuff weighs so much that you'll just like instantly sprain your ankles if you try to run away. No, I'm good. I mean, we're at the bar right now, so we're I think we're we're pretty safe here. My character is a nervous wreck and also queasy. It might be time for Greg Clitoris to just die. Just start again. Also feeling a little sad, find a way to raise your mood. Like we oh. do I'll give you some antidepressants for that. <laughs> you gotta read a book. Book is probably the healthiest way. Let's see if this works. Eh, not really. Not yet. I'll put the rest of them in the bar. I'm gonna read that book. What book is that? Uh, it just, it's called Book. The Good Book. Oh, yeah, that one. There's Cooking for Beginners, Electronics Magazine. There's also just Book. I bought a yeah. CD before, this just said Bible on it. That's kind of funny. Bible CD. I brought a couple of those. <laughs> first time ever, the Bible was on a multimedia CD-ROM. For the first time, we have created the Lord of the Lord on a CD-ROM drive. She fully interacted and acted cutscenes, including your favorite moments from the Bible. Adam, Joseph, Jesus, Morable, uh, and plenty of others as we go through the Bible stories from the old to the medium to the new. Thank you for spending your time with the Bible. Don't forget to play our game made by M. Dickey. Who's M. Dickey? He's the guy that makes the best uh, wrestling games of all time. 
He made a bunch of Bible games using his wrestling game engine. Does he cut lines at pizza places? Uh, maybe. maybe. There's also the Bible on that Game Boy game. Like, you could just get a Game Boy cart that has the Bible on it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Well, I mean, I don't, I've don't. i never had it, but... <laughs> they on, just reviewed it, Nintendo Power. On the CD-ROM drive, you can relive the experience of Jonah inside the whale for three days and three nights as he was <laughs> being digested. Only in this interactive CD-ROM experience can you find out how it is like to be a follower of the Christ. For four easy payments of four to nine and nine to nine and nine. Anyway, does anyone want to go kill some zombies with me? I'm going to go to a new there area. Are, there are two following me back to the uh, base. I don't have any weapon at the moment. I don't know where my pan went. Maybe I dropped it and I didn't realize. All right. I went back to the warehouse because there was a second warehouse next to it that we didn't go into. Okay. Uh, there is a group of zombies I'm stealthfully avoiding. Nice. Thank you. Johnny, you want to um, take a walk? Or are you are bringing stuff back in? I'm bringing stuff back in and I need to clean my bandages and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to head you sure you're to the right. Are you sure you still don't have the uh, the alcohol wipes? I used a couple. But do they you weren't yours. Have any on you? I don't. I'm sorry. Oh wait, yeah, no, I have. I have one. Okay, I could use it. Here you go. Thank you. I'm gonna go this way. I'll try to join you later. Yeah, there's residential houses. I want to grab a sheet if possible. There are lots of stuff in there you can grab. Sure. Let's, yeah, I figure we can grab a couple things. I'll bring it back, and I've been recording this for two and a half, uh, two hours and 17 minutes already, and it, went, it flew by like that. Okay, these are very small, like, are these like trailers? Okay, they'll probably have what, I, what I'm looking for. Wow, way, way to make a ton of noise, zombie. Ooh, shotgun. Nice. No ammo, but still. I believe if you wear the shotgun, it reduces the weight instead of just leaving it in your inventory. Is there a way to watch TV specifically? Um, I know the specific times different shows play. I I think you just have to have the TV on and oh, you'll see like, I just have it on. Yeah, I yeah. think so.
hard to find a car in this. I wonder if there's like a way to find the keys easier. None of them. I think you can like hotwire the cars too. You can find keys inside of the houses that are near the cars. You might look out and find a matching set. Okay, well, I found the one thing we really need. I found a sheet. Nice. All right, that was a pretty good house. Coffee. Pancake mix. Cheetos, chicken. Oh, I did that already, never mind. Oof. Oh, stepped on. They become 2D when you step on them. Yeah, they lose like half the resolution. It's really funny. It's just a way of keeping the game running okay. Yeah. 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 When they jump through a window or over a fence, they're on the ground for like a, a second, so you can immediately stomp on their head uh, right after they jump over. So it's like a good way to kill a whole bunch really quick. If a window doesn't open, do you just keep trying, or...? Sometimes it yeah, does Yeah, if you keep trying, it does open, yeah. I found a can opener, finally. Doesn't always work, but if you keep trying to do it, it does go sometimes. I, have, I finally also got a can opener, but I'm very severely damaged. Ash your stuff in a place you know you can get back to. Yeah, I was still trying to get back to my body where I had like body armor and a nightstick and all kinds of stuff. Device options. Let's see, you could play a tape on like a random TV. I found a church. We're all saved. Listen, this is gonna be weird, but I'm bringing a TV back to the bar. No, I already am. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have two TVs. And with that, yeah. Two is better than one. You can have a Halo Xbox LAN party like the old days. Can oh, you nice. like watch two different educational channels and learn both things at once? I don't know. Maybe. Like the before times. <laughs> I'm already like super overburdened, but there's like one more trailer that I want to check out. Just need to find Lydia to carry your burdens. I will carry your burdens. She didn't say me lord, right? I don't think so. That's the me lord. Yes, right. me lord. Right. Walk, walk. Whoa, work! Your sound card is working perfectly. Oh my god, I remember that. I 
I found a CD. The Depth of Your Love. Now my character doesn't look like Walter White. Now it looks like Jamie Heinemann from the Mythbusters. <laughs> because I found out Beret. I also brought a microwave home. Damn. That's going to be useful. For cooking. I'll bring some mac and cheese back. Oh, did you see oh my god. You just scared the shit That's out me. of me. That that's me, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, now you do look like Jamie. Um, can you, because I'm, I'm like super overburdened, can you carry the shotgun? Yeah. Again, no ammo, but it would be nice to have. Now, does the world persist if nobody's, like, actually here? Uh, there's a server setting for that, and I think it defaults to when the server's empty, time stops, but you can turn it on. Okay. I'll check it out. I think it would be a bad idea to have time pass when we're gone, though, because of the big, like, events that happen. Yeah. I'm really sure it's off, I mean. Does soap do anything? Uh, you can... I think when you have soap, uh, in, when you're washing your clothes, if there's soap in your inventory, it does it better or something like that. I saw an option like that. Okay. So it spreads the weight out when you have multiple things, but it doesn't negate the weight. Depending on what the thing is. If it is a bag, it doesn't negate the weight. Uh, as far as I know. If it is a duffel bag, uh, it helps you carry more stuff, it does. Right, yeah, but then my main character has is like overburdened as well. It should just take a little bit of weight off of each item that's in the bag. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah, I'm going to continue to be... Found a lawn gnome. Gotta bring that to the bar. Yeah, I already got one. But you can bring him a friend, of sure. Do. Yeah, if you try to pick it up, look at its name. Uh oh. Let's see how my character's health is. Yeah, the forearm. Do you need any <clears throat> treatment? I, I have severe damage right now. <laughs> I'll take a look at you, see what we can do about that. Oof, scratch lacerated bleeding. With soap, you wash yourself faster. Oh, okay. I'm now in critical damage. So let's get this stuff the, back to the bar and then I'm just going to sacrifice myself to the woods. The alcohol wipes, um, they you can use them multiple times. Or you have bandage now. You should be healing. Yeah. All right. Well, let's at least bring all this stuff back. Um, You know what, Johnny? There's cars here. Yeah, who can check them? Check the trunk, check the... Uh... 
The you... inside you can also. Here you, I'll check this one. There's materials here. And a map. It's good. Hmm. Can you like break into a car? Um, I, I don't know. I think with a certain tool you can, like maybe the crowbar or something. Hmm. Or a hammer. If I found a key. Master Sun Horizon key. Where'd you find the key? Uh, I was uh, checking just, I was just checking this blue car. And it's, it was in the floor near the car. Oh, nice. So that it's, it's good to have the inventory, the loot inventory always open. Fishing line, fishing tackle. You can check and see if a car has gas. Yeah, you have to get inside, I think. Mm. No, I was able to just go, like, check the menu. Or the... Yeah, I was able to, like, right-click it. If you press E in front of the car, it'll show you if there's gas in the tank. So there's no gas in any of these. Oh. We've got problems. Oh, this one. No, he doesn't. Never mind. Zombies? Mm-hmm. Oh, those are a lot. Yeah, I, I this, yeah. <laughs> My character is a little hungry. I don't, I didn't bring any food. I have food, but. See if we can. Don't just... worry, don't worry. Well, I, I can eat later. There's no hurry. All right. Let's just get to the base. That might not be a great idea to bring all these zombies back, but Monar, uh, Dave, Dave, are you at the base? Yeah. Okay, so then we might if we need. Run, if we, if we run a little, we may lose them. Okay. This is my max speed right now, because I, I literally have a CRT TV inside this briefcase. <laughs> The briefcase. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I don't see them anymore, so we, they probably gave up on us. Do you have the goods? Okay, we're we're going back to Patty's pub. Where are you, Vinny? Oh. Oh, there is a gnome. Oh. I have just the thing for that. Ooh. That's a perfect gnome. And it has yeah. a name? Yeah, if you try to pick it up, you can see the name. David the Gnome. God, I yep. remember that show. Nice. Okay, first things first. This window needs a sheet. It now has a sheet. So we can have the electricity on. And uh, I don't think any windows are going to give away. So is this the microwave? Yeah, on the corner of the bar. Have we found a can opener yet? Um. Oh yeah, I did find one. I put oh, it. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's in my inventory. Let me go put it with all the canned goods. Yep. There you go. Thank you. So, Dave, is where you guys are right now uh, close to that screenshot that you posted? It's exactly where that screenshot. Okay, I don't know if you guys red, have moved. The red dot uh, is. Oh, I'm sorry. 
That is not the right screenshot. Oh, it is to the right. Minutes. Let me take another screenshot for you to show you where the base is, basically. There you go. Oh, oh nice. wait, so it's still close. So I'm almost there, but my guy is so badly injured, I think I'll just drop my stuff off and go die. Hey, getting started in this game is pretty fucking rough. You you don't need to just kill yourself. You can just get healed, and little by little, you will... <clears throat> nah, dog. Well, I'm so badly injured, I don't want to waste resources. If you're infected. Like, I'm infected, and I'm just, like, my... My health has been getting worse and worse. Well, they've put one TV there. Uh, this this is a value tech television which has a VCR play. It, it can play the VUS. Nice. Oh, nice. It's not in hood, but you know. that's okay. We have a crate can put the... back here that I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in. You can grab the courses and drop them on the dumpster can on the dumpster. You can grab the what? The corpses. Oh, okay. Oh, I made it. Oh, but it, it pretty much feels a dumpster. And I'm bleeding. Well, we got sinks in the back bathroom and in the kitchen over here. Well, I'll just drop my stuff off. Uh, only things of value is I have a second can opener and some canned food. Yeah, we, we've been putting the canned food back up against the bar here. The, the wall. You're not that bad, Mono. I can treat you. I was I was worse than you before, and I got better. I, well, I it's like my me. my health meter is like almost empty though. Just walking near you got my clothing bloody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have any more uh, alcohol wipes though. Well, we can try getting you healed. Yes, it's up to you. Does anyone want I'll to kill see me? how much I'll see how much I can do without resources first, just with basic bandages. You need to well, dive in. Let, let me yes. let me take you let me take care of that then. Since I I'm the one that has the medical. Chungus faction. Yeah, I need to remove Vinny so that you can attack him. So I'm doing that while I add you. So there you go. Where are you then? <laughs> I am the Jesus looking figure on the CD ROM drive outside, just right out oh. there. Oh! Yeah. Now you too can experience the time Moses was on the hill. Here, okay. an interactive full on CD ROM with penetration. Shoot. I think you need to leave the faction. How do you do that? You know what? I'm just going to enable PvP instead. Oh. Oh, it erred when I did that. So I think you need to go... Uh, you see the client in the left side yes. below the map? Go to that, go to faction, leave faction? I'm not in faction. Uh, Does Jeff have friendly fire off maybe on the server? Jeff? <clears throat> Do you no, know? I don't think so. Not the check. Yeah, there should be a button that you can just click that turns it on or off. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not in a faction at the moment, so... Well, let me see how bad my wounds actually are. Oh, I got a laceration. Uh, scratch, that one's not too bad. And then, yeah, the bitten and infected left forearm. Can you amputate? No. 
<laughs> this is not RimWorld, no. Afraid we're going to have to amputate. Dave, did you get that welder's mask from the crate? It was, there were a bunch of them in, oh, that, okay. that, in that warehouse, so I got my own. I'm going to exile myself. Wait, before you do, one one more thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it wasn't the weapon. I don't know. Have fun in the woods. Okay, I think I got, like, blood all over you, so have fun with that. Yeah, you did. Hopefully it's not infected blood. No, I'm fine. I don't have any cuts on me right now, so I'm set. Okay, well, I'm going to do a little bit of... Uh... Soul searching as Jesus in the woods. You, you yeah, yeah. Did you? Do you guys have the full map? For whoever has the full map, press M and look directly south of our base. There's a little mm. building, in yeah, a clearing. That's very interesting. Yeah, you should investigate the cabin in the woods. I probably will die before I get there. I'll probably just bleed out. All right, this is the end of Greg Clitoris. Our lord and savior. Hang on, if I'm going to die, I want to die with some dignity. I guess never mind that. I died while trying to wear a red bra. Perfect. And then the zombie started <laughs> eating my dick. Nice. Good, good, good. Alright, I'm gonna start a new character. I wanna be a carpenter this time. I'm gonna follow in his footsteps. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <clears throat> That's good. Um, is there a random option for, like, your character creator? I think, I think the, there is. In the bottom um, right, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should leave the shotgun. Mitch Fountain? A smutty, a smutty. The music says weird words. Respawn as an app developer. Mm. It just reminds me, like, if we had an actual zombie apocalypse, like, half the world would be, like, useless occupation wise. No, those app developers are the same people playing the survival video games. It's not as bad as you think. Zombath. True. Find a location. Then who's of the, who horde. the real zombie then, though? The, the zombies that are on their phones. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't make out most of what the Merovingian said in in the movie. But. but he was definitely making fun of people playing video games. He was, <laughs> and and he was saying it very quickly while there was loud music being played over it. And and every other word was French, which I don't understand, so. I do look forward to watching that scene again with subtitles, just so I can actually understand what was going on there, because uh, that was certainly a confused, confusing portion of that movie. 
Yeah, yeah, subtitles would be good for that, but I don't think I'd want to see that movie again, probably, so. Yeah. Dude, the movie already had subtitles. Open your mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was the code. <laughs> the code. Alex the code. Oh, boy. Oh, I am far the fuck out there. Okay, my did character. We, yes? Did we figure out if you can wash dirty bandages? Yeah, I think. Yes, you can. You click, you right click the, uh, the sink and it should, it should give you an usher to clean rags. But I have to, I have to take them off of me somehow first. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to take them off replace them with clean ones. And then you got to clean the ones that, let me help you with that. Oh, I didn't even know I could actually click the health. Uh, screen. Oh my god, I have lacerations. Oh, infected, infected, infected. Oh. That'll do it. We need to find alcohol wipes to take care of uh, all these infections. Right now, I'm barely replacing your bandages. Don't have any alcohol wipes to treat your infections. This time up, it's worth it. I'm going to put marshmallows in the microwave. <laughs> Be sure to record it and put it on YouTube for some clicks. I'm already bitten, bleeding, and infected. All right. Clint Bates. Okay, Mono. Your time you has should been... be better now. I hope so. It says I'm in severe pain and bored at the same time. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit for you to heal. If you don't get more infected ones. What? Oh, yeah, man. But yeah, you're, you're healing. I, I saw your health going up just a little bit. Oh, the weather okay. changing? Yeah, it's like foggy out. Yeah, I know there's supposed to be weather effects. Oh yeah, it's foggy out. Right? There's like an actual trait for how much the weather affects your mood. Huh. I'm just going to play as Elijah Wood. Uh, what button is to sit down? You have to right click on the floor. And then, like, oh, it'll, okay. yeah, and then you can like rest. Well, I left a huge trail of blood in the here when I came in. <laughs> you can actually slip on blood if you run across it. Well, I'm even farther away from the the bar now. Hell yeah, makeup time. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't do clown. The way your character like faces is so annoying sometimes. Like you just get bit so easy. It seems like. Yeah, that's why you wow. do the hold down right click thing. It's a little more fluid. Like why are you Am I spinning in circles when I'm trying to stab some guy? It's stupid. Frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying the game because of, like, I guess the mechanics of it, but I'd be lying if I said it was like a perfect video game experience. I've been struggling against some of the controls and... Yeah, the controls are tough. Yeah. I, I haven't been doing too bad. I think the clunkiness is part of the. Well, it's just like when you're trying game. to fight a zombie and your guy keeps like turning and like exposing your back, and then the zombie just bites you. It's like, why is that happening? Yeah, yeah. I don't really. Yeah, the zombie fight stuff is not always great. Ooh. 
Yeah, having two TVs, I'm sp I'm like speed running my boredom down. <laughs> but the TVs cannot tune to anything, so you're not gonna get on board. Mm, there's five channels to watch. They go off the air after like two weeks, I think. These weather effects are cool, though. It looks like yeah, this looks awesome. Completely different map now. A little bit of car uh, gas remaining. Unfortunately, there are zombies. Yeah, you can sneak, but also run while sneaking. Home VHS, TD Toe. I'll bring that back to the base. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got a bunch of VHSs. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing this for a while now, nearly three hours. Is v it is very addictive. For anything else that can be said about it, I am enjoying the fuck out of it. Yeah, it's definitely a little fun. But, um... I just want to get back to the base and then I'm gonna stop. Uh, another can opener. I'll bring it just in case we lose the other one for whatever reason. Like, once you start getting momentum, it definitely gets way Oh, more yeah. Fun. For sure. But it's hard to get going, though. It's frustrating. Mm-hmm. I keep getting stuck on one thing too. It's like, oh, I want to find this, and I keep, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I just keep dying because I'm looking for one thing. Yeah, that happens. I found a radio. Pick it up, bring it. How do you pick it up again? There's an icon on the left with like a drawer. You want to hover over that and change to pick up? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Let's see, where am I on the map? Yeah, I'm still pretty far, but I'm making progress. One good thing about sneaking around in the fog is you're a little harder to notice, at least. Medical center. Oh, nice. It's blocked, and I have a bunch of zombies on me. But if I could get in there and bring some medical supplies back, that would be pretty great. Yeah, there's a bunch of like military camps and stuff like that too. Police stations. They all have like really good shit now. There's like a, a big storage unit place where the doors are locked, and if you get like an axe or other tools, you just keep beating the doors. You can eventually open it up, and there's all kinds of supplies in there too. Yeah, you can just like break down walls if you attack them long enough. Beta blockers. And block those betas. <laughs> Reduces panic. This medical center is like a bust, I think. Oof. God, many zombie. Found a course true. <laughs> Can chili, microwave. Yeah. Uh, no medical supplies really. Headphones. Scrap electronics. Screwdriver.
That was weird. Something wrong. Oh yeah, you can uh, sort your inventory by weight. Oh. There's that tiny little icon in the top left that looks like a funnel. Oh. And you can do by weight. So that's, I think, handy if you're looting tons of stuff and need to get out. You can be like, what's the heaviest thing and drop it. Masterson Horizon Key. That might be... It's a car. For somebody's car. Fucking zombies, they're very smart. I mean, I know you said this before, but goddamn. They can follow you even in the fog. Yeah, like he said, the best thing you can do is sneak, really, and fucking hide. Like upstairs of a house. And dodge them. Yeah. Get them stuck in the woods. Bring too much more stuff, but I have a bunch of cans. I found a new car coming home with it. Nice. Um, Sweet. When you get close to a car and you have a red key icon, what does that mean? Does it mean you have the key? I don't know. I think it might mean it's locked. Okay, now I'm over. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I think it means I have the key because my character is trying to turn it on, but it since it doesn't have any gas. Now that I remember, can we get gas from the gas station? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta oh. pull up to a gas pump. There should be a way to carry gas on a container, right? Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm now a Slav. What do you mean a Slav? Like in... I, I have a, uh, a... You'll see, my outfit is very Slav. Traksut. Oh, nice. Traksutish, yes. Trax, little Traksut. Oh. You scare me, Dave. Mm -hmm. With that get up. It's looking like uh Mr. PUBG himself. Yeah. NPK fertilizer. Yeah, there's a whole farming system and stuff in here too. Empty bleach bottle. That's probably good to have. Unpleasantly hot. Oh, I guess I can't wear my padded jacket. Moist. My character's now moist. Great. Oh, painkillers plus a sheet. Is your character going to take a sheet? Take sheet, please. Baby. Bath, bath towel. I found a plunger. Yeah, I think the way the zombies work in this is kind of like a heat trail. Like if you make a lot of noise and stuff, like you just leave a path. You know what I mean? I think if you're kind of conspicuous and sneak around a little bit, 
I think they might. Like like if you're money. bleeding, I think they're more attracted to someone who's bleeding. I just had a bunch following me, and I ran to a building, kind of hid, and then I snuck out, walked away, and I saw all these other zombies still walking into the building. So they like still think I was in there. You know what I mean? I got a bunch of empty gas hands. Oh, yeah, we'll want that then. Three of them. Assuming we can, you know, grab the gas in there. Oh, I found some. Uh, I'm disassembling the beds from the these trailers, and I I have some planks I can bring back to the base. Okay. So we can cover up those <clears throat> windows. Some w windows we have that are broken or aren't. Are boarded. Yeah, boarding up more windows would be nice. Dave, you have the skull crossbones by your name now. Yeah, yeah, I think it's related to that square icon in the bottom, right? That like you shot a gun. I heard a gunshot. Yeah, me too. What the fuck? Me? Wasn't me. The fuck was uh, that? Weird. Oh, it's related to resting. The gunshot? No, Maybe someone the, else in the server. The maybe? icon. It's re related to what, Dave? Resting. So it was a. F it was fully red because you see it as like a green square, right? That scared the, the fuck uh, out of me. The bottom right corner, I see a green square with like two axes. Yeah. So something makes it turn red, and then. When it's fully red, you get the skull and crossbones. And then I right-clicked to sit down, and the word rest showed up. So I hit that, and then it started changing back to green. So I think it's like you need to sleep or something, but because we're playing multiplayer, there's no sleep, so you have to just hit rest. <laughs> huh. That's my guess. I, I This is purely uh, circumstantial. These fucking blanks are heavy. Yeah. This other fucking truck is dead. The engine's fucked. Need a wrench. Metal yeah, sheet. I guess I'm gonna leave some in here. Guess I cannot carry them all. Has anyone tried playing a tape on the TV yet? Vinny's yeah, got the I tapes, did. I think. Oh. Yeah. There's a show on right now. It's a sports show, I guess. I mean, the garbage bag isn't really helping with the weight all that much. Yeah, it's like the lowest tier bag you can get. Yeah. Ah, now I'm learning carpentry. Come back to the base with some gas. Use some gas. The zombies are like wandering around too. Like they're like fucking on the move. Walking down the street and shit. Where the fuck is he going? I don't want to ditch my long johns. Oh yeah, Dave, did you just get a carpentry point from yep. watching the show? I did. Nice. See, I'm like leveling up now just from watching the TV. Zero gas. Great. I found a TV that was turned on and it just so happens that there is something in the TV, in the channel. It's not just static noise. Hmm. I'm almost yeah, back. The, there is a television schedule in the game. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've not found a TV guide, so I don't know what the schedule is. Yeah, in the single player, uh, when you're able to sleep, you can actually set an alarm on your watch to wake up at a certain time to watch a certain TV show. It's like so detailed like that. That's nice. Well, uh, the channel Turbo 
was having something at 12 30 maybe maybe it started earlier before i got in it's like some kind of news program on now yeah oh almost there put the volume all the way up What does triple N stand for? What the fuck is no news, nut November? News, news? <laughs> <laughs> no nut news member. I mean, isn't that all news? <laughs> the for like naked news? Yeah. Naked News Network. There you go. Oh, I fell and I dropped my beret. Yeah, I got hit so hard that my guy's hat, glasses, and the thing I was carrying all flew off when I was on my There's way like a there. container place here with two police trucks. And like three zombies. There's sometimes uh, guns in the trunk of the police cars. Hello, comrades. We can't see Welcome. you because you're behind us. How do we... Do we only want to play on this server when we're... Hello. All together streaming, or no one else should play it. What, what uh, do you want to do? I don't know. I mean, I don't know because I, I don't want you to not play. You know, you bought no, the server, so no, no, no. I mean, just so we can all be on the same like progress. Do we want to stay on the same level and shit? I don't makes mind sense, one way right? or another. Whatever you want to do. I think that makes. Sense. Comrade, please, not now. <laughs> Uh, we're watching the news. <laughs> Is that a ping pong paddle you're carrying too? No. Oh, I found bullets. Ear protectors, bullet ammo strap, box of 9mm rounds, first aid kit, and a shotgun. Yeah. All right. Yeah, when you're out and about, if you find cops, you kill them, you, they always have bullets and shit. Guns. Oh. Yeah, there's other occupation zombies, too. There's, like, construction workers love tools yeah. on them. There's, like, a like a motorcycle biker dude that has, like, a brass knuckles, I think, or a knife. You guys want to watch a tape? I, f <clears throat> I found yeah, another shotgun. Up. Some of the guns don't seem that great, though, honestly, compared to, like... Oh my god. Chum are us. I'm gonna put uh, tapes in this one at the end here, closest to the TV, so we want to watch more. Well, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna come back to this place later. I'm gonna put some food in the fridge. I have um variety of foods. Hey, foods. What's on the tape? I don't. I just, like a like a what do you call it? Um, sitcom or something? Not like some weird shit. It's pretty normal. It's like I'm, I'm going to tell her. Let go of the oar, Dirk. Let's get ashore. I'm letting it go, Joshy. I'm letting go, Joshy. That was <laughs> <laughs> orchestral music. Who's Joshy? I want to know more about him. Who's that character? He's I've never competing. heard of that before. He's competing. All right. <laughs> Never had a character like Joshy before. Funnier character. I don't know. Funnier. Notice if you have water in a container, it can evaporate if it's not a sealed container. It, it also weights more if it has water. So if you need to. If you need to care, be carrying less weight and you're going back to base, you can just drop whatever water you have. 
Right. I have a ton of books. Do we have a book drawer? Yeah, over to the right. I'm right in front of it. We could always just bring one. This one? No. Yeah. We'll, we'll do some reorganizing at some point, I'm sure. These right. shotguns are way too heavy, so I'm gonna just drop one here. And the planks as well. Uh, then I'll come back for these. I found a video store. Radio. Hell yeah. If anyone wants cool eye makeup, I have eye makeup in one of the drawers. And you can... To know. You can put on... Which, which drawer is it? It's this corner one. I think. No. Okay. It's one of them. And you can, yeah, you can put on... You can do eye makeup. It gets kind of weird. Yeah, eyes makeup. It's, it's, um, under the, the stuff. Oh, I found the police station. Guns probably are near our base. Fucking busy, though. If we yeah. all go and we use some of the guns, if if Johnny's bullets no. work, Too much. Like no, fucking... those bullets won't work because those bullets are for pistols. Oh, there's so many. We gotta get them away from here somehow. Well, I went from serious pain to minor pain. Hello, comrades. <laughs> You're like business casual uh, Russian terrorist or something. <laughs> I'm gonna put the shotgun back on the on the box. I think that's a good place to store all the important stuff. Okay, I, I think eventually you can build more of that stuff. Like I have, I chose carpenter. Yeah. Um, which I don't have much carpentry, but I could build like a drawer, you know, if we needed to. I mean, the bar is a good place to store stuff too, but I need plank, knob, and nails. And if anyone has a baseball bat, I can spike it up for you. Well, you can all do that yourself. It's not that hard. Yeah, eventually you can just straight up build a house. And it kind of looks like our current place. It's like wooden walls and floor, and then you can paint the walls. It's really detailed. Um, I want to check something out here. There's How do I place the radio? I think you uh, use the thing on the top left. The very, Sorry, very I didn't get it. I, I didn't hear that. Uh, the thing in the top left again. Uh, there's a button that says place. Uh huh. It's like a then, green arrow pointing down. Yeah. Does that not work? Uh, I mean, I kick, I click place, and then I get a pointer like a square. But then, what do I do? You can't just like click on the spot where you want it. I'm clicking, but nothing happens. Maybe. Hold on. Oh, is it like a really big radio that can't go on a table like that? Maybe. I'm going to leave some lights off up top because there's windows and I'm, I'm assuming the Zambabos can see them. Probably. So I'm going to cover the also, one window. Turn off the TVs as well if if there's nothing to watch. Yeah, I was trying to find well, we got, something. There's two more Vus in this end cap here. Oh, there it is, the radio. Washington High. I've got two, two, two episodes of a season of Washington High. <laughs> so whatever that is. But yeah, I'm going to cover this. This um, 
the lights are off upstairs, but I'm going to add a sheet to the one where the light should be on in the hallway. But for the most part, I think it would be a good idea to keep this closed. Okay. I think we're good otherwise. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stop here, because th this is three hours. Three and- oh god, three and change. Fucking Project Zomboid. Um, well, it was fun. Um, yeah, hey Jeff, I don't mind if you guys play as long as I don't get killed. You know what? <clears throat> Here's the best thing I'm going to say, is I'm going to go upstairs. Wouldn't your character just disappear when you're offline? Yeah, I doubt you're there. Yeah, I don't think this is like Rust. I think you just straight up are gone when you're not logged in. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all good. I think it's just probably best if we don't get like... We all stay around the same... Sure. ...bubble-ish. So we're not like... You no, know, something doesn't get like... ...all juiced up before everyone else or whatever. Okay. Well, even so, I don't mind if you play a little bit. Yeah. If you hop in, you know bring some equipment yeah, over I, like that's no problem but i keep dying anyway so i need to get started here it's fun it's really fun yeah, that we found this bar game. and and like bringing equipment back like like you said once you get into it and you get going it's it's kind of crazy how much fun you can have with it but all right um thanks dave johnny mono and jeff for stopping up uh stopping up what stopping up my toilet for god damn it bobby for stopping by and playing game. I hope you have a good night. No problem. Good night. See okay. you. Good one, everybody. Bye. See ya. Good. And everybody out there watching. This was a lo lot of game. This is a lot of gameplay. But I will exit now. And I will say thank you for watching. It's fun. It's not for everybody. And I don't even know if it's for me entirely. But I'm enjoying at least what I've done so far. So that's Project Zomboid. Take care. See you later. And if there's more, there's more. But goddamn, this is a productivity killer. Goodbye.